Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The Christmas season is upon us and we are going to be checking out all the holiday festivities and new food items. We have dining reservations at Minnie's Holiday Dine where we're going to see our favorite characters dressed up in their Christmas best. And then we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a cheerful Hollywood Studios kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. All of the Christmas decorations and music at Hollywood Studios make me feel nostalgic because this is the stuff that I grew up on. I just love coming here for the holidays and I can't wait to see it snow later on sunset. That is one of my favorite things of the year. Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom are both my favorite parks during the holiday season because they have so much that you can do. Toy Story Land is all decked out for Christmas. They even have a ride overlay on Alien Swirling Saucer that I hope that we can actually do tonight. And then, like I said, the Sunset uh, Season Greetings is such an awesome show. They project like different projections on the Tower of Terror and uh, it snows. Look at that, just as I'm talking about how much I love it here, it starts snoping. Ah, oh, I love it. I think the holiday parade is going to start making its way through here, so we're going to have to stick around a little bit. Oh, there it is! Look at the reindeer, they're the best. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! And let's not forget Pluto! Happy birthday! I love that little holiday cavalcade. The reindeers are prancing around a little bit and Santa's in the car. It's very fun. And I can't wait till later on with all the decorations light up. Like it's so pretty here and then the Christmas music. And we're really gonna have a great time today. So I'm so very excited. I have to say I feel like the Christmas tree at Echo Lake is probably my favorite Disney Christmas tree. I just love the ornaments in the water. I love how Gertie has a little Santa Claus hat on. And like I said, I like the old, I feel like it's like 80s and 90s like decorations, like the reindeers and the Santa Clauses and stuff like that. It just makes me feel like I'm growing up again. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas tree, whether it be Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom. Like I said, mine, it's, it's gotta be Hollywood. Here is where we're gonna be going to have dinner later on, Hollywood and Vine, and it actually changes by the season. So they have a Christmas one, a Halloween one, a spring one, a summer one, and I have to say the holiday one is my favorite because I love seeing all of the characters dressed up. I was gonna start making my way down to Toy Story Land because they have Woody and Jesse dressed with their like holiday outfits on and Alien Swirling Saucer uh, has the holiday overlay, but I found some really cool Christmas treats here at the Dockside Diner. I think we're gonna get those first. Take a look at this. They've got a hot cocoa flight, a flight of three hot cocos with Stoli Vanilla Vodka, Red Stag Cherry Whisker, and Bailey Irish Cream. I said Red Stag Cherry Whisker. <laughs> I love that. And Bailey's Irish Cream Liqueur. And then they also have a holiday tree marshmallow, vanilla bean marshmallow and raspberry jam dipped in a chocolate on top of a vanilla cookie. They both look so fun. Look at how cute this little flight is. I love it, and I can't wait to try the Red Stag Whiskers. That's gonna be amazing. I, I can't tell which one is which, but I'm gonna assume that it's going from hot cocoa to Bailey's, because that's like the lightest color. And then here's the marshmallow tree. I think this is all marshmallow right here on top. These are actually really fun looking desserts. Like, I like this a lot. Let's dive into the hot cocoa flight here. I think we're doing the regular hot cocoa with the uh, Stoli vanilla in there. Oh wow, that's so good. And that's definitely the Stoli one. And now we're gonna jump over to the Bailey's one. Bailey's, yeah. Good, but now it's time for the whiskers. Gotta get the whiskers. Ooh, that one's got a kick. I think it's the cherry. <laughs> it's the stag. They're all very good, but I also like how they presented them too. Like on this little plastic little cart, because like I'm used to Disney just using like 
tiny pixie cups but this is like very very fancy and it was $13 for this that's not too bad at all considering the fact that it probably cost you like probably $15 for one whole hot cocoa with like one shot of like alcohol in it so you're kind of getting a value here all right enough with the hot cocoa business now it's time to try the little Christmas tree look at this I love this. It's actually really, really awesome looking. But I don't know how to eat it though because I'm, I'm assuming that this top part is all marshmallow and then the cake is at the bottom or like the little cookie there. So I guess we're just gonna, I don't know, bite the top of the tree. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna go in for it like that. Hold on. Yep. It's all marshmallow. So then you gotta lift it up and probably bite on the bottom side here. Oh my lord. Look at that. Okay, that is amazing. It's like a, a, a marshmallow Linzer cookie. That is so good. I like it a lot. It's got me. It's got me hooked. I do feel like it does leave you with a lot of marshmallow though. I mean, <laughs> I kind of enjoyed the cookie part the most, but now I'm losing it. I got a little bit of jelly left, a little bit of cookie, and that's it. Now it's time we're gonna make our way down to Toy Story Land and see if we can ride Alien Swirling Saucer. Take a look at this on our way over to Toy Story Land. Ran into a little uh, holiday themed Chippendale. Oh, I like your bells, jingle bells. Jingle bells are oh, very, very, very cozy. You guys look cozy, especially with the scarves and the hats. Definitely want to just like curl up by your fire with some nuts. <laughs> Chip and Dale look really fun and festive and I like how they're just standing there meeting guests instead of like having a formal line where you just walk up take a picture and then leave and they're so fun they're playing with presents and they had like a nice little scarf and a nice little hat on very festive look at that Woody is all decked out with his scarf and then we got a little garland there fun fact the reason the statue sounds so much like Woody is because it's the voice of Tom Hanks's brother I think that's really cool and he's actually doing a meet and greet here and I think like I said him and Jesse are dressed up with some holiday attire as well oh and look at this we actually have Buzz dressed up like a Santa Claus I love that I love the sound Wow, Toy Story Land is really bumping today. Buzz is out with a Santa hat on. The toy soldiers are doing their march again. I'm liking this. And look at Jesse and Woody. Got their holiday vest on. Oh, that is awesome. So much just happened in a little time there. Like, like I said, they really went all out in Toy Story Land and we didn't even get over to Alien Swirling Saucers yet. Like all the characters are out, the marching band is back. Very, I'm, I'm very happy. And look at this, they even have the ham Christmas cookie. So like I said, they really, I mean, normally they have Christmas lights hanging in here like all year round, but like they've added so much and it's just so, it's, it's really fun. Now it's time to head to Alien Swirling Saucers. And the Christmas overlay isn't every single time. I think it's every third song. So you actually have to ask for it or kind of time it. And I think it's happening right now. So we have to wait three rounds before it'll do it again. Looks like we timed it perfectly. This is a regular sound and the next one should be the Christmas one. I love this ride so much. It, it literally just makes me smile. Look at that alien over there. No one's riding with him. He must be a bad driver. I hope we timed it right because if not we're just gonna have to go and wait again it was a posted 40 minute wait but I felt like it was like only like 10 minutes like this ride isn't the most popular ride which I don't understand because I love it so much all right it's the moment of truth are we gonna hear Christmas music and Christmas lights we'll find out in a second here
I dare you to ride this ride next time without holding on. It definitely gives you a little whipping. <laughs> So much better at night. Happy holidays, the claw. I love the Christmas music for Alien Swirling Saucers, but also Slinky Dog Dash has a little holiday overlay too. Not as big as that one, but I'll have to show you guys. You might be able to hear it. Slinky Dog Dash actually has sleigh bells on it, so you might be able to hear it as it comes by. I don't know if you could have heard it or not, but that's really awesome. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I wish I could actually ride it, but I think it's like a 100 minute wait. And also Tower of Terror is like a 130 minute wait. It's a pretty busy day here at Hollywood Studios. Looks like we're just in time for the tree lighting. Any second now. And also look at that amazing sunset happening. This is going to be really beautiful. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Oh, love it. That was really fun. We got to catch the tree lighting. Now I think we'll head over and see if we can see sunset season greetings as that kicks off. But all the lights are on. I mean, it's, it's merry and bright finally. Look at this. I love the lights and the music. And now we're going to make our way down sunset. That's when season greetings is going to happen. That's when they do the snope and the projections on the Tower of Terror. Usually they have Muppets and all different sections. Or they make it the Toy Hotel. It's one of my favorite things. Here it goes. This big line in front of us is all for Fantasmic tonight. <laughs> We're here for sunset season greetings. If you're going to Fantasmic, this is the 8 o'clock view right here. If you're going to Tower of Terror, rock and roll. Make sure we might actually watch Fantasmic later on tonight though. Maybe if we have enough time after Hollywood and Vine. But I'm just excited, like I said, all these people, it looks like they're here for sunset season greetings. But uh, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I think this is the Toy Hotel. Watch this. four different like sets and then the last one is when it actually snows and that's the one I like the most even though I do like the Toy Story one <laughs> There it goes! 
Woods. Sign me up for the Snope any day. Yes! Yeah. We're snoping. <laughs> And if there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. How cool would it be waiting in line for Fantasmic and you're just getting this nice little snow? What do you think, Kristen? Snoped on. Snoped on. Catch it with your tongue. <laughs> I don't suggest it and don't breathe it in either. <laughs> The snow definitely changes everything. It just makes it feel so much more holiday-ish here in Florida. You know, I don't miss the snow up north though. Because like everyone thinks it's just like that pretty like white snow. The first snow is very gorgeous. I love the first snow. But then when you get like all the dirt and mud and rock salt all mixed in and it's like slush. I don't miss that. I don't miss that at all. I love sunset season greetings, but now it's time for some din din and I'm so excited to actually head on over to Hollywood and Vine and like I said, we're gonna see the characters all dressed up. They're gonna be in their Christmas best. It's the buffet and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here is a little bit of information about mini seasonal dine. It is $59 for guests 10 and up, and then it's $38 for ages 3 and 9. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and it comes with salad, soup, bread, shrimp, a bunch of meats, and like I said, all your characters are dressed up in their Christmas best, including Santa Goofy, which you guys know I love Santa Goofy. Depending on how late we're actually going to be coming out from dinner, I really would love to see Fantasmic. Now, I've already came and saw it uh, since it actually came back, but I haven't made a video. And I'm excited for my mom and sister to see it because they have never seen it before. It's just one of the shows they never got the opportunity to come see. So, either we're going to watch it tonight or we'll definitely come back and see it with my mom and sister next week. Alright, here we go. Minnie's Holiday Dine. And I can already see we got Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto. I love it here. You guys know I come all the time. And we got a nice little table over here. And I think Mickey's coming to our table next. So I got to rush over there. I see him. Look at him. He's got his red coat on. Red coat Mickey. I'm not too sure if they added anything additional to the buffet, like for the seasonal dine. I know they do like a special seasonal creme brulee or dessert, so we'll make sure to show you guys that. But other than that, it's just the basic buffet that we've shown before. I'll touch base a little bit more though. Look at this, here he is. There's my pal. Merry Christmas. Yes! <laughs> I love, I love the holiday attire. You look very fancy. Yep. Oh, I like the pennant too, the little uh, wreath right there. Very, very cool. Oh, and green shoes. You're matching all the way up. You're on top of the world. <laughs> I love it. Very nice to see you, pal. Happy to be back. <laughs> oh yeah, you get a photo? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Day made right here. Day has been made. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> see ya, pal. Oh, you pretty hard. Thank you, <laughs> We'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. There. <laughs> Tell them they gotta eat here. <laughs> Mickey made oh. all the food. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I always say that Hollywood and Vine has the best character interactions. They are so awesome. I've seen them sit down and eat with like families. It's 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 literally the best. I don't think there's any other one that compares to it. And uh, that's what keeps me coming back. Like I like I said, I literally come here for every single seasonal dine. Take a look at the buffet. You got the soup and salad station. Then you got sour cream potatoes, salmon. Uh, chicken. Ooh, these Brussels sprouts are so good. Olive oil roasted potatoes. Then you've got uh, some roasted mushroom risotto. Some crispy tofu glaze. Broccoli and carrots. I love the broccoli and carrots. I get that all the time. 
And then we've got beef stew and some white rice. The roasted pork with the spicy mustard sauce. Oh yeah. Some more seasonal vegetables. The macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon. The barbecue meatballs. And the tenderloin. Look at that. Everything looks so good. And also you don't want to forget about the pork belly. Look at that. Thank you. Here is a look at my first plate. I got some tater tots, some of the roasted potatoes, some of the smashed potatoes, three different types of potatoes because I love potatoes. And then I've got some meatballs. I feel like I just said potatoes a lot. One potatoes. Meatball. One meatball. <laughs> I did. And then I've got the, uh, the beef and then I got the pork tenderloin and then uh, the pork belly, which is really good. I like the pork belly here. It's very good. There she is. There's Minnie. Thank you for having us to your holiday dine. I'm so happy to be back. I love it here so much. Ooh, and you look great with your little holiday uh, outfit. Looks very, very cool. Oh, Christmas bells are about to be ringing. <laughs> oh, but thank you, Minnie. I'll see you around. Merry Christmas. So far from what I can see in the buffet, it's all the same food basically as the last time I came here, but I do love it. The meatballs are always my favorite, the uh, pork belly, and yeah. Also, I gotta get soup. I forgot about the chicken noodle soup. There he is. Santa Goof. I love it. You having a good day? Yeah? Very cr Merry Christmas? Oh, I like your beard. You like my beard. Wow. Very cool. I love that. Well, I hope Maxie was good this year. He got lots of presents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're checking the list? Yeah? That's very awesome. Great person to do character dining with. Wait, I, I just like Goofy. I get excited to see him, especially Santa Goofy. I do love Santa Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Can we take a photo? Oh, you're gonna get a hug? Oh, even better. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Oh yeah, Kristen, get a hug. Get a, get a Goofy hug. Okay. I need a hug. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Earlier I think I was saying they had like a seasonal creme brulee, but it's actually a seasonal bread pudding. So we'll have to see what that is, but I think the goop is coming. Kristen, what's your favorite thing so far? My favorite thing on the buffet is this beef stew. The beef stew. It's so good. The little like gravy that it's in with the mashed potatoes is so tender. The beef stew is great. Ah, you got a Pluto over your shoulder. He's not here yet. He's over there though. I see him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Santa Goof is back. Back for more. Yep. <laughs> you know, I never noticed, but I think your whiskers are springy too. Look at, they are springy whiskers. Whoa, oh, oh, dear, I've never even noticed those whiskers up top. That is really amazing. I've never noticed Goofy had whiskers up there. Sorry, Goof. Are, are you even a Goofy fan? I, I am a Goofy on. fan. I'm a, I, I'm, <laughs> oh, never even realized it. Oh, and you got Pluto right next to you too. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Oh, and he's playing with his whiskers too. It's a oh, and your ears. Well, not ears, those are antlers. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that is awesome. How cool would it be if Pluto had a red nose right now? Yep, he, that's what I'm saying. Like, once if Pluto had a red nose, I feel like that would be perfect. Genius idea. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll tell Gracie you said hi. <laughs> now it's time for the desserts and take a look. We've got the seasonal bread pudding, and I think it's a cranberry bread pudding. That's what it looks like. I think those are cranberries, unless they're raisins. raisins. Uh, yeah? Raisins. It's raisins. A raisin bread pudding. I like that. Then you got some apple crisp here. And I like how everything's served in like big like containers. And then you got some cupcakes. 
some carrot cake with, uh, oh, it's a carrot cake cupcake, and then a Mississippi mud pie. Then they've got the creme brulee cheesecake, the peanut butter and jelly tarts, and then the candy magic bar. But I think I'm gonna go get some of that uh, bread pudding over there. What do you think, is that cranberry or raisin? I think it's raisin. It's raisin? It looks like raisin? Raisin bran? It looks like raisin bran. I think I'm going all in on the bread pudding here. Got to get a nice piece from the center there. There we go. And I think Kristen's right. I think it is raisin. Definitely going to be raisin. But that looks like good bread pudding. Solid, not runny. Everything I like. All right, I'm going in on the bread pudding here. Got to break me off a piece of that bread pudding. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Mickey came for some dessert. We got some bread pudding. Very good. Oh yeah. It's a good stuff. Yeah. I love it. Very good. He says all of it. Yep. Thanks, pal. That's the way. You made it? Chef Mickey. I knew it. Great job, Mickey. Great job. Bravo. <laughs> well, Hollywood and Vine lived up to the expectation that I always have for it. It was amazing, and the, the characters are so fun. They're so interactive, and I love it. The food is great, and I'll just, like I said, keep coming back. And now we get to come out and all the lights are on and the Christmas music's on. Gertie's got her Santa hat on. I love it. And I love this Christmas music that they have actually right now. And before when I was talking about like the like vintage looking like Christmas decorations, I'm talking about like the reindeer over here. I always like seeing them in the little, little woods over here. Look at that. So cool. Look at all these decorations. It's so pretty. Ooh, and they're doing the projection show on the castle up there. Well, it's not the castle. The castle's on the Chinese theater at the moment, but I love it. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun enjoying the holidays here at Hollywood Studios. We got to do all of the ride overlays that we wanted to, see the decorations, got to see Sunset Season Greetings, Hollywood and Vine. The only thing we didn't get a chance to do was Fantasmic. And like I said, I think I'm going to do that with my mom and sister when they come into town next week. I can't even believe it. It's happening so fast. And I can't wait to just show them around and do all the holiday stuff together. And I'm not going to be... Um, uh, kind of by myself on Thanksgiving this year. Like we're gonna be able to have Thanksgiving dinner together and I'm excited for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I've already started breaking out Gracie's Christmas toys. Look at this. She got a little Christmas thingy. Oh yes. Wow. You like this one? And then we got this one. Oh yes. You like that one? How about a Christmas hat for you? There we go. Santa Gracie. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, you lost it. And then we got this guy right here. You can use it as a necklace. No? Not so much. But you love it. And then what else do we have here? Ooh, yes. Yes. And she will not sleep in that Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy bed. She literally just likes her old beds i don't know she likes this one she likes to move it around in the cushion all right now i'll clean these all up sorry princess <laughs> where's this one? Oh, but we gotta put the hat back on look at this this is gonna be a shot for the ages right here <laughs> hey hey <laughs>